How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. A little bit of a different type of video today. Um, some of you will know I enjoy doing videos giving information on the new upcoming updates or videos, uh, updates that have just been released, expansions and stuff like that. And that's what this video is going to be about. Over the past couple of months even, I've been gathering slight information from loads of different people which have given me a good idea of what we can expect over the next year, possibly even two years, on Forza Horizon 4. Now even if you know quite a bit about Forza Horizon 4 and you know quite a bit of info about what we can expect in the next year, I still believe there might be the odd thing in this video which you're quite surprised about because I have some information which no one actually talks about but it's quite a big deal. Um, so I want to get this information out there so you're all more aware of it. On screen right now I have six topics that I want to go over in this video. I'll be going from top to bottom talking about each one in detail and why I'd like to talk about it in the video. So just to get it out of the way I'd like to talk about the upcoming update which we should see pretty soon. Lots of you will remember last year we got an update um, regarding just painting options, you know, paint the subsections of wheels and cars and stuff like that. And it was also confirmed that next year, which is now this year, we were getting an update which lets us paint, for example, brake calipers separately, which we can make them red, blue, green, gold, whatever we want, but separately um, to the actual body of the car. So we know that's coming, and I can't imagine they'd add that on their own. So in my opinion, within the next couple of months, in first quarter of 2019, we may get another update. Um, with little painting options like the brake calipers and other bits and bobs like that. So st stay tuned for information on that. That's just a guess, but the brake calipers are confirmed, but we may get other bits and bobs as well. Now the second topic is where we already get into the spicy stuff, the second expansion. Now, I'm seeing lots of people who really love Fortune Island, and I'm also seeing lots of people who aren't very excited by it. I feel like you're either really, really into Fortune Island, or you really just, you think it's cool, but it doesn't really interest you that much. Now, in my personal opinion, Fortune Island, it looks great, it's a fantastic map, but because it's so focused on off-road and drifting, that's not my type of thing, so I don't personally use it that much, although I think it's a good expansion. I just don't use it that much, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's just take a quick look back at the previous expansions we've had. Back on Forza Horizon 2, we had the Storm Island expansion, which was probably the first big off-roading experience we've had in Forza Horizon series. And, and lots of weather as well, I believe that was new. So that was basically focused on off-road and storms. Forza Horizon 3 we had the Blizzard Mountain now this was our first experience with lots of snow so this was quite good and new as well also quite focused on off-road technically everywhere's off-road in the snow but you know what I mean and then we had Hot Wheels which blew everything out the window Hot Wheels was fantastic I loved Hot Wheels I still want to go back and play it to this day actually now that I think about it it was so much fun now as for the second expansion of Forza Horizon 4 I think it's going to be just as good as Hot Wheels. But if you think about it this way, we cannot get another Storm Island. There's no way. We already have storms and rain in this game already, and we already have lots of off-road. We can't get another Blizzard Mountain because we technically get that every four weeks on Forza Horizon 4 because we get winter. So I can't imagine they'd add another Blizzard Mountain. As for Hot Wheels, I don't think we're going to get another Hot Wheels. I do have clues to why I think that in-game, which I'm going to show you in the third topic in a minute. But I can't imagine they do the same thing twice. But, you know, if back before the Hot Wheels expansion was released, we'd all be sitting there thinking, what could they possibly do for the next expansion? And then they did Hot Wheels, and we were like, wow, I never would have thought of that. I think that's going to happen with this Forza Horizon 4 as well. I think the next expansion is going to be really good and something that none of us can really even think about or guess. So ideas of what it could be, um, London unfortunately has been confirmed that it's probably not happening. I know this because recently I've become friends with Alan Walsh, which was someone who worked very closely with AR12 Nick um, not too long ago. And he's quite good at picking up on this information. He's had an interview with someone very close to the Forza Horizon um, dev part of it. And he got information that London would just take so long to do. So London, I'm pretty, I'm not guaranteeing, but I'm 99.99% London is not the second expansion. As for Ireland, he also kind of mentioned this as being quite unlikely, but 
it's possible. It's possible that the second expansion could be something Ireland related. You know, it would make sense. There's a bridge at the top of Edinburgh. It would go over to Ireland. And, you know, that would just be... It would just be cool. It would make sense because the main map's the UK. As for what the second expansion will be based on, I don't think it's going to be focused on off-road. Um, they've kind of done that enough by now, I'd have thought. So I think it'd be quite silly if they did the second expansion quite heavily focused on off-road as well. I think it's going to be something like Hot Wheels, something very different but very good. Possibly something related towards Hoonigan, stuff like that maybe. But onto the third topic, which is in-game clues about the new expansion. Now I'm just going to swap to my Horizon Live here. Now there's a few things which I've noticed on here which can give us ideas of what the next expansion could possibly be. Now, the Explorer level. We all know what the Explorer level is, and if you remember, before Fortune Island was released, if you completely completed the Forza Horizon 4 UK standard map, you would be stuck on like level 20 Explorer, and you physically couldn't upgrade it anymore. It would be stuck halfway, and there'd be no other ways to get Explorer influence on the standard map. And this left us all confused. We were thinking, why can't I upgrade this anymore? But then we kind of remembered, oh, we're getting an expansion soon. It'll just carry on through the expansion, which it did. When Fortune Island came out, as you explored that map, your explorer level would then continue to go up past where it was stuck because of the first map. So you would think that after completing Fortune Island, it would get stuck again, ready for the second and last expansion. But that's not the case. People have completed Fortune Island and the UK map, and the explorer level is complete. It will literally say that you have completed the Explorer level. I've, I'll try to find a screenshot on screen, thanks to Harry, if you're watching this. He managed it, and this is what it says. It says that you've completed the Explorer level, which makes me wonder, why have they done that? If we get a next second expansion, it's going to go back up again anyway. So, that's quite strange. Either we're getting an expansion that we're not going to be able to explore, so it's something very different and very cool, or they're just going to update it again and let the Explorer level go up even more. But if they're going to do that, I don't know why they didn't do that with the UK map, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Now, back to what I was saying just a minute ago, Hot Wheels. To me, this confirms that we are not getting another Hot Wheels, because if you think about it, I can't imagine the Trailblazer PR stunt would work on Hot Wheels. If you think about it in your head, it would take common sense to realise Trailblazers would not work properly on Hot Wheels. Because there's still clearly some more Trailblazers to come, like in the next expansion, it's not going to be Hot Wheels. Now on to topic number four, which I'm sure most of you want to know about. Believe it or not, it is actually confirmed that we're getting more than two expansions. Again, it was Alan Walsh that made me aware of this. And when he told me this, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. We're not only getting Fortune Island and another one, we're getting something else rather big. Maybe even multiple more big things. And this ties with topic number five about there being no Forza Motorsport 8. I believe it's highly unlikely that this year, 2019, we won't be getting a new Forza game. Because turn 10, they've kind of told us that they're focusing heavily on upgrading Forza Motorsport 7 over and over again instead of just starting a new game, Forza Motorsport 8. So this year, we're probably not getting a Forza Motorsport 8, which does mean the year after that, it probably won't be Forza Horizon 5, meaning that Forza Horizon 5 is an extra year away than it usually would be, which is probably why they've decided to focus heavily on Motorsport 7 and Horizon 4 as well, explaining why we're getting more than two expansions. In my personal opinion, we're going to get two expansions, just like the normal type, so Fortune Island, Hot Wheels type thing, and then this third expansion, I think is going to be bigger than ever. I think this could be something like Island. It would make sense. A normal expansion, Fortune Island. Another normal expansion, let's say, I don't know, a Hot Wheels, although it's not going to be one. And then a third expansion, which by the way, we're probably going to have to pay for. It's not going to be included in Ultimate Edition, I believe anyway. It would make sense to make that Island. A brand new map, quite big, brilliant amount of new things to do. It would just make sense. Think about it. So yeah, as for Forza Horizon 4, over the next year or two, Fortune Island, one more expansion, and then the game is going to be getting some huge updates to the point where they will be called expansions. Now, all of these are rumours. All I know that it's confirmed that we're getting more than two expansions, possibly three, four, I don't know. But that's honestly 
what I believe could be happening. So get your hopes up, guys. Come on, we're getting we're getting a lot more stuff this year than we think. So that was number four and number five in one go. Now onto the sixth topic: Toyota and Mitsubishi. Because there's been some leaks about Toyota being added, and also the Mitsubishi cars were spotted in one of the new update trailers or something like that. Was it the live stream? I think. Yeah, a live stream. Now I'm going to say this now. Lots of you will know I played on the dev build of Forza Horizon 3 for over a year and I got quite familiar with how everything worked on there. And I can tell you that just because we saw Mitsubishi on Forza Horizon 4 in a turn 10 live stream or playing our games live stream, I honestly do not believe that means that we're getting Mitsubishi back because they were more than likely on the developer build of Forza Horizon 4. There's going to be lots of things on there which are allowed to be in the dev build but they're not allowed to be in the real game because Mitsubishi don't allow it. There were quite a few things in the Forza Horizon 3 dev build which I don't think they were allowed to put in the main game. As for Toyota, there's been quite a few leaks from apparent developers that say that Toyota is coming back but I honestly, I don't believe this either. My personal opinion, I hope I'm wrong, I really do hope I'm wrong, but I don't believe we're getting Toyota back anytime soon. They've only recently removed their cars from the game anyway, so I, don't, I can't see them putting them back in this quickly. I think a company so big like Toyota, I can't imagine it would change its decision that easily. It must have been a big decision for them to take their cars out of the newest, latest games. Um, it would be a good idea to put them back in. But I don't think they would take their cars out only to then put them back in again a year or two later. Regardless of all the leaks, I don't believe personally that we're getting Toyota back anytime soon. So yeah guys, there is quite a lot of information that some of you may not have been aware of or I might have clipped a few things into your head that you're quite excited about or you're just now curious about because I really am curious what this second expansion is going to be. But just to very quickly sum up today's video, we're getting more than two expansions in Forza Horizon 4. Two very small ones like Fortune Island, possibly another second one. Let's just say something like Hot Wheels, although it's not going to be Hot Wheels. And then later on, we're getting another expansion or two, possibly something to do with Island, a bigger type expansion. Maybe not just a map, maybe a complete other story to the game, something like that. Maybe, I don't know, similar to GTA 5's Arena War or whatever you call it. Something very big. I think we can expect that. There's going to be no Forza Motorsport 8 this year. I do not believe Toyota or Mitsubishi are coming back anytime soon. And within the next couple of months we might be getting another update more regarding on painting options which will be exciting. So yeah, anyway guys, hope you have enjoyed this video, I hope you've gathered some information and I hope you're now excited for the future of Forza Horizon 4. I certainly am, I certainly know that it's nowhere near the finish of its lifetime. Wait, leave a like if you have, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, make sure to leave your comment section thoughts down in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next video.